okay, okay. I think I almost played the whole track there. Except the vocal, yeah. Obviously, I can't, I can't hit that one. Okay, guys, this is a track which I just released. Yeah, I, I just released. By the time you put my video, I think it should have been out yet. So I'll be definitely putting a link to the description. So this vocal was by Rogue and Non to X, and it was actually a remix competition which Rogue put out. So I just decided maybe this time I should enter the remix competition, and unfortunately I did not make it. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, yo, I love the track so much because I have never like produced a style as a lot, which is very very simple but quite effective and very dope. Go work to anyways. So uh, the the remixes just came out and obviously, as I've said before, I didn't make it, so I just decided to and release another track for free. So we'll be checking this one out. As you can see, there's not much happening with the project. Just like I said, you can see there's like minus this one and that one. There's like a track is less than twinned and there's not much of effects also. So I decided to keep Lena to a minimum and let the work speak. So let's check out the drums first okay let's start with the vocal the vocal already had been processed as you can see i have the eq which is a bit high passed and there's a little i boosted a high frequencies for a brightness a bit this is a compressor for some type of compression and the reverb I didn't put a delay because there was already delay with vocal as we got it. Let me switch these things off first so that you guys can listen to the vocal. As you can hear that there is already delay and a reverb on the vocal so it's already been processed. I think I specified this before that I don't like remixing it a vocal which has already been processed i think the vocal should be 100 percent dry i have to put in my own reverb and my own delay and type of effects so but okay yeah it is what it is so i have that simple pattern kick and clap and then the loop of the drums Uh, Lelo, I think I downloaded it. Good music radio, I'm not even sure. I'll have to check, but I think that was that was enough for me. I won't lie. That was like, okay, yeah, that's it. The track is complete now. <laughs> but then I added Game of Go uh, later on. There was is a second kick. And then obviously we had is always a con. So if I narrate the yabo, yabo, it was going quite well. Yabo, when you heard this, I shake as a coin. That's it, guys. Most of the tracks is really way. There's not much going on. Just kill everything. Yabo, kick, hat, and clap. Everything else was just surrounded by everything. So I had game of risers and a falls symbol. And I added the sound effect. This type of sound effect. The crackles. You can hear this uh I don't I I, I don't know how to explain this way, but la la tape effect of his sounds is uh, back in the day. Yeah, well. Just put that thing in there, and then Nalena uh, e dings. 
just to start everything off. Okay, not forgetting. Yeah, that's where most of my sounds. Let me add all my shakers in there. You know. so that one turn to the right, and then this one. And then my shake. And then I just added uh, another shaker later on. I think this is the, the open head I mean. Open eye head with some reverb. You can see it's, it's, more, it's a bit more open than the shaker which is right in front of you. And has some reverb behind. So together, this bass and feel. Then there was the last one. Guys, that's the simplest drum pattern I think I've ever came up with for a whole track. And that was it. Uh, I was making sure that this thing was going to be very, very simple. So let's move on to his sounds quickly. So what is going on here? Good track structure. I have the chorus right at this point. As you can see, my change in progression. Good chorus here. Starting from here is the first verse. Chorus yam. And then the second verse, as you can see, I go straight and then second chorus. And I keep the same progression throughout the whole tune to end it off. Progression. So that's my progression for the chorus. And then when I'm not on the chorus, it's just that one. And then what's quite important is that when I drop the chorus, I introduce the shaker here. And this vocal helped me a lot because everything was like complemented by vocal. Okay, let's first start with this pad. Chords anyways. This chords are from hypersonic. Let me check. actually two of them soft ep2 and lecaro string so as you can see i mixed them a bit here i increased the, the volume of my level of the chords and then just a bit of strings there and on the background so i used the same type of progression copied and pasted it prepared this pad is always dope for me you know me i always use this pad <laughs> but yeah, ever since i moved on to twint i don't use it anymore so then you have a change game of progression which is this one here also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ice blue was the chords Oh yeah. Yep. And then same thing here. Yeah. Then same applies to the baseline. Yeah, let's check out my baseline. You can see it's like the same straight pattern, upper good verse, first verse, and the second verse. And then quick chorus, it also changes just like everything else changes. 
simple. This is a simple tube base or hypersonic, as you can see here. Tube base. And then as I build it up towards the part game. everything else I get you. Yeah, and that was it. So I was like thinking, quick second verse, I should uh, like do something which is a bit more interesting than just keep it as the first verse. So I introduced E. Oh, you flip. Excuse. I think, it, I think you need lunch. So I introduced E. It's so low. As you can see, when I was moving towards the second verse, yeah, this is where my second verse starts. Havoc 73. So, this part, I removed most of Ishei Kazam and the hat. And I changed all progressions back to the first thing, I think. But then I have the solo, which was introduced later on. I think I once did a live video when I was working on this track here on the channel. I'm not sure no one ends up on Facebook, but I did a live video session and I remember I was struggling a lot to, to create the, the progression, but I finally cracked something that works and worked very well, I can say. Okay, let's play the Landuva. So we play on the next asle with a lot of delay. No revival. I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> uh, so we can only chop the vocal at that point, which I felt like it needed a solo, nyana, because who uh, unknown to X was doing her magic there. <laughs> And yeah, them. The rhythm is very important, even on the solo, guys. back my shakers both of them at this point and then the yeah, drums came and stuff Oh. 
this one there for now i'm gonna end this one there such a dope project i think this is one of my favorites Glunyak, one of the best i've made in it this year because of the style and soul and simplicity and how the actual project came out overall yeah so the track is available for free guys you can check it out link the description you can stream it you can download it and if you want to buy the project itself as it is completely i'll be sure to link it up also on my online store just check the description but for now let me love and leave you